Hey, here is the video on themes for lesson three of unit one. Themes in the narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass. The objective of this lesson is students will be able to read and analyze chapters one through four of the book. As you're reading the book, I want you to trace theme. So what are the key themes of this book? Let's talk about them. Uh, the first one is the one that is really overarching um, the everything we do first semester, the power of creating a new narrative. You guys just had a chance to create your own narrative um, for the college application essay. Use your voice to tell a story about yourself. And now it's time for us to see how Douglas does this in his own book. So he tells a story um, unlike other slave narratives because he has complete authorial control. And I mentioned this before, complete authorial control. As an author, he controls what is in his book. And we can see this in a lot of different ways. We talked about earlier how um, the documents that would authenticate his story are not as important in this slave narrative. It's instead the story itself that is more important. Um, he is the author and the creator, and that is what's more important than authenticators who would guarantee his story's validity. So listen for Douglas's voice as you read and watch how he creates the story. He'll often tell you why he is writing about a certain incident or a certain memory or reflect on its meaning to you. These are all different ways that he's controlling the narrative. Another theme is the journey to freedom and literacy. Um, Steptoe also teaches us that Douglas is the first writer to connect freedom to literacy in a slave narrative. And so his journey to freedom really becomes intertwined with his transformation, as Steptoe calls him, to an articulate hero. At the beginning of the book, he is semi-literate as a slave who has been refused the right to be able to uh, read and write or to even know basic things like his age or to identify who his father is. Um, and how does he transform until the end to be completely free and to be able to articulate his uh, story in a way that is meaningful and moving to an audience. Um, watch for these things as you're reading. Um, watch for when Douglas first realizes he's a slave and how it affects him. That will come up in the very first reading in chapter one. Um, when does he make the connection between literacy and freedom? Uh, watch for that. Uh, watch for his tenacity, the fact that he doesn't give up and the myriad of strategies, all the different strategies he uses to achieve literacy. Uh, and that'll be beyond just this uh, chapter that we're reading. And then um, watch for all of the ways that literacy, being able to read and write, allows him to become free, literally and figuratively. So this is stuff we'll look for throughout the course of the entire book. Another um, uh, theme that I want you guys to look for is um, the collective over the individual. And for this theme, um, we're kind of going against the grain here because most of American, or much of American literature anyway, prioritizes the individual over society or over the group in terms of importance. And we focus on that one individual's journey. Um, this book is different though because Douglas focuses not just on his own journey, but how he helps his community. And so it's really the group over the individual that takes precedence. Um, so watch for this. How is the com community more important than the singular person in this text? Um, things to look for, like how does Douglas show he thinks the fate of slaves as a group is more important than his own personal success? When does Douglas rely on others to aid him to, in his journey to freedom? When does he help others, um, sometimes even over himself? And then finally, how does he integrate into a community in the end? And how does he continue to help others and be focused on that other uh, instead of himself? Identity as choice is the last of the four themes. And 
Another way to name this one would be rejecting the lie. Um, Douglas rejects the identity he has been given, and he um, co he considers that a lie. He does not consider that his true identity. So he instead becomes a man, he will explain to us later in the book. Um, he's a hero. He becomes a hero as he uh, rejects the mantle of a slave and instead dons the mantle of a heroic man. Watch for these things, his thoughts and reflections on identity, um, who he believes he is, how he rejects the identity he is given, who he projects himself to be, um, and how others see him because of that projection. So those are the key, the four key themes that I want you guys to look for as you're reading. Um, as you're reading this first chunk, do your best to find an example of all four. We'll share these out during discussion. So if you haven't found one for each, that'll be okay. You'll, you'll be able to get some from other people as well. But do your best to find a quotation in the book that shows each theme, one for all four. Okay? Enjoy the book as you read.